What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of South East Bassin. Today I'm going to teach y'all how to throw a Texas rig on a Senko. So stay tuned. Hope y'all enjoy. What you will need for this bait is a Senko, 5 inch, preferable size, hooks, Kamagatsu. Doesn't matter what type of hook you use, but two out hooks are usually the best for Texas rigs. See, here's the Senko. You look at the thickest part on the end of the Senko. You got this part, and you got the skinny part on the end. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get the, the slit of the hook right here, and you just want to push it through right here. Right in the middle. Go about an inch, maybe half an inch. So once you have it like that, you just want to, boom, push it through like that. And then, you want to cover up the eye of the hook right here. This is the eye. So you want to cover that up just like this by pushing it up like that. So now, it's covering the eye. And then what you want to do is, you see, you can't hook it like that because that doesn't work out. All you want to do is hold on to this top, and you're just going to want to twist the hook slightly, not too hard. And it can be weedless or non-weedless. I like to do mine weedless for a hook set, but yourself a weedless Senko, like this. Looks perfect. Good presentation in the water. So weedless Senko, and if you don't want to fish it weedless, I don't know why you wouldn't. If you can't like, if you're not good at setting a hook or something, you just push it on through like this. Now it's not weedless, so it's more vulnerable to getting caught in weeds and grass. And if you're fishing a lake with grass and anything like that, anything literally, like a rock, or you could just have it like that. This is how I usually like to throw mine. It's not really weedless, but then at the same time, just a little bit it is. It's where the hook is barely showing, like this. See. And you catch a lot more fish like this, but that's how you throw a Texas rig Senko. You can also throw one on trick worms, finesse worms, basically any type of worm presentation you can throw it on. And it's a really good factor in the fishing game. But um, yeah, <clears throat> what kind of hook you will need for this? Really any hook will work, a small hook will, but I recommend just from watching all these YouTubers and getting advice from other people, they all told me to use a two out size hook. So, yeah, that's what I use. This is what it looks like. Two out size hook. Uh, I like the brand Gamagatsu. Gamakatsu. Check it out. These are really good hooks. Two out size hook. So, that's how you throw a Texas rig Senko. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you how to throw a Texas rig on a trick worm. So, I got my Zoom trick worm. I'm not sure what color it is. I think it's green pumpkin. So you're basically gonna want to do the same thing. This is more longer. This is about seven inches, seven inch profile. So what you're gonna do is you want to do this. It looks perfect, right? You want to do it about an inch and a half, maybe an inch. So you just want to cover up that eye like this. This twist the hook. Put it in, you're good to go. And you got yourself a Texas rig trick worm. That's how you do it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Texas rig Senko. Pretty easy factor. Pretty easy to hook, too. Everywhere. So, yeah, that's how you throw a Texas rig on a worm. Hope you all enjoyed this video. It wasn't really much. It was just, <clears throat> I don't know, it was just a little... A little video to upload. I'm going fishing on. I might go fishing tomorrow, guys. I'm not sure, but definitely going on Saturday at Chad's Pond again. Trying to hook into a 12 pounder. I don't know. He says there's 12 pounders in there. There might be even 13 pounders, but let's break another PB, guys. I'm gonna try. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, just comment down below. I can do like my top favorite baits or top favorite lures to throw. Or just anything like that. But most of my videos are going to be fishing. Which you already know. So hope you all enjoyed. And stay tuned for 
the next fishing video. I'm not sure when it's going to be coming out, but it'll be coming out soon, guys. So I hope you all enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't already, check me out on social media. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat will be down in the description below. Go follow me. Go do all that good stuff for uploads on my videos. But, yeah, thank you all for everything, and I'll see you all next time.